the words that they spoke and do your best to embody that until I got vaccinated. This was my favorite thing I'd done in the pandemic. It really was. Um, so if nothing else, whatever you think, I'll always carry that with me. Um, and I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh, the only other thing I want to point out, I watched it the other day to prepare for like press stuff. I was like, I should refresh. I want to get back into it. And I, not only did I love it again, the New York stuff in the movie feels, it always felt great and, and worthy. New York is deserving of it. But there's something about this time coming out of the pandemic and an excitement and, uh, and our possibility, something that, that it, it seems to tap into. And it felt very accidental, but prescient. It was really, I think prescient is the right word. Um, I should pass it to Zach. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Um, Lisa's very shy. She, she was very clear that we shouldn't say anything about her. But I have to say that uh, I was such a fan of hers uh, already from her um, her documentary about Mrs. Vreeland and Peggy Guggenheim, the, the two that I had seen when she reached out to invite me to be a part of this. And so it was a real honor, and I felt so grateful, and, uh, and, and that combined with my history or connection with Tennessee, having done The Glass Menagerie, his most autobiographical play, and um, playing his most autobiographical character, I felt really like this was a culmination of experience and um, admiration um, that was unique and special and uh, and Jim and I were working together or had just worked together uh, and so when we were talking about uh, a Truman you know there was just something about our friendship and personal connection um, we're far less bitchy than Tennessee <laughs> than Truman, but there is something about um, being a part of their lineage and uh, and standing on their shoulders in, in many ways um, and uh, creatively and personally uh, being able to enjoy a life that um, embodies that integration in a way that sadly Tennessee and Truman were never able um, to uh, experience. And so I feel like this is really moving the dial, uh, really moving the ball down the field for us to be stepping into these roles and uh, honoring um, the genius of, of who these two men were um, and, uh, and their legacies of which we're very fortunate, I think, to be a part. So. Um, and it's just amazing to see a theater full of people not wearing masks uh, and to be here to introduce something. It's like surreal and uh, it's very moving. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.